guys welcome to my channel get ready with me while i tell you guys a few things that i have learned about marriage and relationships that is so crazy to me like four more years and we're gonna be 10 years married that is absolutely nuts and this has been a journey like this has been such a long journey this year is actually gonna make us eight years together so we were together for two and then got married after two years so in total eight i have definitely learned a lot of things that i wanted to share with you guys this is my personal experience i don't want anyone to get hurt by something that i will say because i have very strong opinions about certain things but this is what i just feel like works for my life and if you're single you plan to get married and you feel like you have the, sh the same sentiment and i don't know you want to like tailor some things to you go ahead by all means go ahead and do that um so i'm going to be doing my skincare routine while i talk to you guys i am using the niacinamide brightening toner from good molecules i just finished taking a shower anyway let's get into it so the first thing i will say is when you're when you are choosing your future partner make sure you're thinking about your future kids because for me that was so so essential especially just seeing the baby mama and baby daddy by the way i hate that i, I hate those words but i mean it is what it is <laughs> that's what everyone uses but i just hate seeing the dynamic between people and i always said even if god forbid i was in one of those situations where i'm a single mom i want to make sure hopefully the person that i have a baby with we can co-parent amicably and keep it at that right and i am so happy and blessed to be honest because i know you can still like end up choosing the right partner and they can just like change on you all these different things so i am so blessed that i did find someone who is very caring passionate he loves being a dad like it's just so many attributes and i truly do feel like you see these things um from them as a person if you when i listen to a lot of single moms or like people who have really bad relationships with you know their child's father i see a lot of tiktok videos by the way i'm on tiktok all day every day but when i see them share the story it's always oh you know yeah there were th these signs he was this way with me in our relationship so you know i should have known better blah, blah 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 i appreciate women who go through these certain things and they're very honest with themselves and they know you know i should have left but i did not because i was in love because it does happen right so it is what it is at this point you just gotta love your child and all that but again listening to all these things i'm like okay you know i don't need to like the boundaries that i set for myself you know sometimes you feel like oh maybe my boundaries are just too much let me break them down because you want to accommodate a man do not do that whatever boundaries that you have or whatever values and morals that you're looking for stick to it right and the right person is gonna come me and tommy we had the same morals we had the same values like i just saw the way he treated people the way he treated me because sometimes a man can treat you good and they treat other people shitty as hell you don't want that you want your man to treat you good and also treat other people good right that's how you really know they're a good per they're they're good people choose someone not because oh they're so handsome chocolate oh my goodness da, 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 da. yeah that is cute that is aesthetically cute you know for posting pictures and da, 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 da. like when you end up having a child by that person and they treat you like shit that aesthetic <laughs> you're gonna hate it you're gonna hate it every ounce of it so choose right when it comes to that okay now i'm going in with the vitamin c concentrated serum from derma e but my next point is do not settle if marriage is your end goal ever since i was a little girl i knew i wanted to be married um i knew i never wanted to have kids without being married like i said things happen and it is what it is when it does happen i'm pretty sure god was on my side because i think about certain things you know my previous relationship and I'm like, I could have gotten pregnant by this man. Well, thankfully, I did not, right? I could have been in a situation like that. But my end goal was to always be married and then kids and then just build a life together. Yeah, people will say, oh, well, you can be married and get divorced. Yes, you can be. But this is how I look at it. When you're not married to someone, you don't really have rights to them. God forbid if me and Tommy were just living in, in this house and we're not married and, and he falls sick. Oh, God forbid he dies, right? I am not the first person that they're gonna come to, like in terms of like the law. They're gonna go to his mom. <laughs> 
that's just what it is i think the only time they even come to your kids is if your kids are like 18 and up then your kids kind of have the right to make certain decisions on the parent that passed away or whatever the case might be but if you have little kids and you're not married to this man it's a problem so if marriage is not the end goal for you then that's fine this is not for you if marriage is an end goal for you in life don't settle do not settle personally for me i never like believed in moving in with a man fully that i'm not married to that's just me it does work for other people where you know they're not married they move in together and maybe in less than a year they get married it does not work for everyone you can literally move in with a man you guys end up having babies and you never end up getting married because a lot of men get comfortable they get comfortable they're like oh you know we're good we're in the same house we have kids now what's the point of getting married right so for me you just never know end up with in terms of that mindset if that makes sense so even though me and Tommy had conversations around that I could have moved in with him and he's like mm, okay we we're never gonna get married and by the way tommy never wanted to get married he never wanted to get married until he met me when he met me everyone kept telling me this story like oh my goodness wow tommy got married he always said he never wanted to get married so i'm like mm, okay well yeah not with me <laughs> no way because when i met him i told him right away you know and that's what i keep saying let someone know what you want and stick to it that's the part stick to what you want because i feel like women sometimes we we're so in love and then we end up making these men so comfortable you do not want to make a man comfortable what you want and what you set for yourself you have to stick to that now for me i will come visit you i will come visit you stay for a month right stay for two months once hell um when i was back in new jersey and me and tommy we were dating i came to cali and i think i stayed for like two months i think you can get to know someone by that um by doing that you don't need to necessarily move in with them because to be honest tommy that i knew back then is the same tommy that i know now when you guys get married and actually move in together it's a whole different dynamic people change every day you get what i'm saying but in terms of like morals values mindset he is still the same person so personally for me that was my own thing i'm not moving in with you permanently if we like something has to be here <laughs> something has to be here that's just that's just that's just how you know it works for me again if marriage is not your end goal then that's fine but if marriage is your end goal you gotta make sure even if you you're moving in with this man you have to make sure they know you you gotta give them like a timeline like hey if we're moving in within a year i want to see where this goes in terms of like getting engaged moving forward getting married blah 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 right if you don't want to have kids before getting married you let them know i'm not having a baby until we get married which if you guys are living together that's gonna be hard to do because you you know a baby is probably gonna come right but yeah my number three point is do not live with parents when you get married get your own place and live in your own apartment house whatever you guys can afford living with not all parents don't shoot me you have amazing parents who are so hands-on and everything i love that for you like i wish i had something like that i don't have that tommy doesn't have that personally for me it's a no if you're in the same space do not do it just have your own space so whenever you and your husband argue or boyfriend argue no one knows what's going on whatever's going on in your life it's just you guys right you know what's going on and that is it unless you take that and go tell someone no one's gonna know what's happening right and also i just feel like it lets you really enjoy your marriage because it's just you guys in the house right i mean down the line god forbid a parent get you know get sick if you guys have a good relationship and you're like okay you know we don't want to put them in the nursing home come stay with us that's fine but when you guys get married you really want to enjoy your marriage and you don't want every ear and just every mouth in your business you know i will personally stay away from that another thing that i'll say is nowadays with me this is never something that i used to think about but this is something that i will advise single people to do if you can honestly when you meet someone before you have sex with them ask them for you know a std test ask them to go get tested because the things that i hear nowadays is crazy people have stuff 
stuff and they never tell their you know uh, partners people that they're gonna sleep with that person ends up getting it and then now you're stuck with that stuff right if you have something say i mean i kind of get why they don't do it because obviously if you tell me you have something okay no we're not we're not getting down right but you honestly cannot know that you have something and you don't say something i think people can actually get sued for that too i feel like i watched a video on youtube that was the same thing this lady took the guy to court because he had i don't know if it was a hiv or something and never said anything slept with this lady and, and gave it to her that is so horrible like that is so disgusting like why would you do that that's crazy i feel like if i was dating in this day and age now i would definitely do that like okay we're getting to that space go get tested i'm gonna get tested so not just them i'm gonna get tested too so we can you know just make sure everything's right okay anyway the moisturizer i just used is from la roche posay the double repair face moisturizer another big one for me that is one boundary that i don't play with <laughs> i don't play with that my exes they are disrespectful when i got with tommy they will reach out to me oh i miss you da -da -da same for um tommy's exes not all of them but a good amount of them very disrespectful like they will text him and i'm like you know and i feel like with men sometimes i don't know i'm not making excuses for men because i definitely don't do that i feel like they do understand but i don't know maybe they don't read into things like we do tommy like me if my ex texts me i'm like why the hell are you texting me i don't care if you're saying hi why are you texting me don't text me because again i don't do exes if we're done we're done we're not enemies if i see you in public hi hello we can you know we can chat but don't text my phone you don't need to text my phone well tommy on the other hand he used to to entertain these conversations so i put a stop to it i was like no i told you i don't do exes i don't play that so you have to stick to your boundaries don't like oh, okay i don't want to seem insecure who gives a f that is not insecurity that is just your boundary and that's okay if there's someone out there that you know is like oh i don't care if my if my if my husband or boyfriend talks to their ex that's them that is them I had a lot of people who, you know, they would look at me and say, you have so many boundaries, you're problematic, da 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 da. Okay, that's fine. This is my relationship. I am going to do what I want to do. Like, how is that your problem? So if that is you, stick to your boundaries. And that's that. And if the man loves you, he's going to stick to it, you know? And that brings me to my next point. Set your boundaries and do not deviate from your boundaries. For example, when I said, I, you know, I let Tommy know, I'm not moving in with you permanently if we're not married or at least engaged and get into marriage because you can be in i never wanted to be you know the one also to be engaged for five ten years is like what is this that's not me you need to be engaged to be getting married that's how i wanted things for my life so yeah i let him know my boundaries no exes your female friends need needs to be female friends like why are you flirting with your female friends and these are things that when we got together he never understood <sighs> we used to argue so much like when i tell you guys argue oh my gosh we used to argue a whole lot and i'm like <laughs> what is this and i just got to the point where i told him i do not have time for this if you do not want to respect my boundaries we're done and maybe when i said that something clicked in his brain and he automatically i guess tried to understand but yeah stick to your boundaries and do not deviate for them from them it can be very stressful i'm not gonna lie and it'll probably get to the point where maybe you might just want to say oh maybe i'm the problem let me just slow down on my you know whatever i have to say and just i don't know accommodate whatever it is don't do it stick to what you're comfortable with and again if that person loves you they will listen to you not disrespect you because if they don't listen to you that is disrespectful now i'm not saying if you have like crazy things that you want from this man that's different but things that are reasonable i don't really see why that should be an issue i'm not sure if i showed you guys the oil that i used but it's this really glow oil from um Arme E. Oh, look at my skin. Now I am gonna use the sunscreen from Innisfree. But my next point is make sure the family that you're building is your number one priority. I haven't spoken to my parents in two years now because it's just a whole bunch of things. <laughs> 
And I just feel like a lot of our parents can be very disrespectful to our marriage. And I grew up in a home where my mom, she will never let disrespect come to her marriage. So when she tried to bring that to me in my marriage, I was surprised. I'm like, you should know better, like what's going on? But that is definitely a story time that I'm going to film for you guys. I'm not sure when, but I'm gonna like pick two things and like post it on my Instagram story and see which story you guys will want to hear first and then i'll start recording my story time but yeah um i haven't talked to them in two years because i just feel like i'm not about to like especially when i know i'm not the problem tommy is not the problem i just stepped away i just stepped away and at the end of the day my family my kids and my husband they come first like i said that is the same way she handles her stuff and that's the same way a lot of our parents handle things and that's exactly how it should be your husband and your kids come first you can't let disrespect come to them i am never gonna disrespect anyone especially my parents but i will just remove myself from the equation and just keep it at that we all know most african parents they have a hard time you know accepting stuff and accepting that you've grown up and you're you know you're your own person and all these things so also work on your communication skills you have to work on that when i met my husband he's not really even to this day to be honest he shuts down it's much better now than before but he does shut down but you have to work on that even if you're not like a confrontational person like me when something happens i want to talk about it let's talk about it and see what the problem is and not really like fix it but see how we can like compromise and just like what do we need to do i'm that type of person and he's the he's the guy who just wants to laugh it off like ha 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 we're good um no <laughs> no you know that doesn't work for me so yeah that was a that was a real issue you know but like i said we have come a very long way six years now it is so much better i feel like especially when we moved in to our place by ourselves without living with people mom dad sister stuff like that now we're in our space when we want to talk about things it's just us our kids you know it is just a much more healthier environment and now the last one that i I will talk about is choosing good people for your circle you never know how much having good friends is so important until you start a family until you get married until you get pregnant until your kids get here you never know sorry the light is i guess on auto and it probably did not sense me in the bathroom but anyway you never know like how good your friends are or how much having a good friend or a good family just having good people around you matters so much you want friends when you're getting married they're so excited for you they want to be there for you every step of the way through the whole process right you want your friends to like be involved heck act as if they're the ones getting married act as if they're the ones pregnant act as if like this is my child you never know how important that is until you actually have a family so choose wisely and also when you do get married you do step into that zone you're probably gonna lose friends not probably you're, you are gonna lose friends you are gonna lose people because you are gonna get in your feelings about a whole lot of things a whole lot of things so don't feel bad for feeling that way your feelings are valid right if that person is not doing what they're supposed to do as a friend it is what it is if you feel like you want to have a conversation go ahead have it if that's the first time they've ever done that have the conversation and say hey what's going on if they keep doing it to be honest don't waste your time just cut them off you know i know cutting people off is hard for a lot of people but it is so good for your sanity it is so good it is so good for you i'm telling you you know sometimes you're gonna sit down and think about the memories and just like all these things all, all the good times that you guys had but trust me if that person is not a good friend keeping them is dangerous to you than cutting them off so cut them off it's okay you'll be fine as time go goes on you're gonna forget about them but yeah this is the end of the video i know you guys this is saturday and i'm uploading the video but like i said yesterday was our six year anniversary and i was like this will be a nice video to just film and post i am still gonna post a video tomorrow which is sunday my regular upload days so expect a video tomorrow i love you guys thank you for watching if you're new here please subscribe don't forget to subscribe like leave me a comment below let me know what you guys think of this video bye